The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Florida's defense comes out inspired against High Point watch Mike Berensky wrestle down Tommy Hooker for a six-yard loss, forcing a High Point punt. But High Point answers with a tackle for a loss of its own, watch junior linebacker Kyle Stoll break in for the two-yard loss. But the loss doesn't slow down Sparta as Cody Armando starts his big day with his five-yard score and Sparta takes a 7-0 lead with 8.37 left in the first quarter. High Point shows it can move the ball, watch quarterback Durango Pettit convert on third and run with this six-yard gain to the 45, but the Wildcats would turn the ball over on downs. Now it's Sparta quarterback Jake Melville's chance to show what he can do and watch Melville with the nice moves as he picks up 26 yards to the high point 14. And Sparta punches it in here as Cody Armando with his second TD of the game and Sparta goes up 14-0 with less than a minute left in the first quarter. High point showing some life on offense. Watch Durango Pettit hit Tim Linder in the middle of the field for 14 yards then tack on a personal foul against Sparta, and it's a 29-yard game for the Wildcats as the first quarter comes to an end. Okay, High Point's facing a fourth and three at the 24, and watch Durango Pettit on the design quarterback draw as he goes up the middle and picks 16 yards to the Sparta eight, and it's first and goal. But the drive comes to an end here. Watch Sparta DB Nick Shalala make the pickoff at the two-yard line. Tough break there for the Wildcats. And the Spartans waste no time here. Watch the gaping hole open for Cody Armando, and he races through it as he cruises 98 yards for the touchdown as he takes it to the house, and it's 21-0 Sparta. What a turnaround right there. Okay, High Point goes back to the air, and watch Christian Glue jump the route and make the pick as he takes it in for six from 26 yards out, and Sparta is up 28-0 with just over nine minutes left in the second quarter. High Point would then turn the ball over again, and with a short field watch, Jake Melville hit Mike Berenzi with the swing pass, and he barrels into the end zone to push Sparta's lead to a commanding 35-0 with just under nine minutes left in the second quarter. Okay, High Point still fighting. It's Durango Pettit again as he scrambles, and he takes off for 16 yards on a first down for the Wildcats. But Sparta's defense forces a punt. Watch Mike Berenzi track down Pettit on the nice sack on third down, to force that punt. He had a big day, folks. And then watch Cody Armando cap his 200-yard four touchdown day here with this 30-yard run, and Sparta's up 42 to nothing, and we're still in the third quarter. And the Sparta reserves also played well. Watch quarterback Matt Seville connect with Jimmy Cartier for this nice 37-yard gain and a first down to the high point seven. And Seville caps the big American division win with his nine-yard strike to Rob Carlton as the Spartans bounce back from their loss to Pope John with a resounding 49-0 victory over the Wildcats to improve to 5-1. Coming off uh, um, a, a tough loss right there, you know, the biggest uh, thing we talked about all week is, you know, to, to, to uh, make sure you go back out and prove to everybody that you guys are a good football team and, uh, you know, putting, putting a zero up on the board and uh, scoring a lot of points, I couldn't be more happy with the kids. It was definitely nice coming back from a from a tough loss last week. I mean, it's definitely nice to bounce back. I mean, we definitely, all the linemen pushed, all the, all the backs ran. I mean, everyone did their part, and we all played our hardest game, and we hope to continue this into next week. It's definitely a great feeling coming back after a loss uh, from last week. We had a lot of pent-up emotion, and uh, it was good to be able to take some of them out of it on this team today. Um, it was definitely a lot of fun to play in this game. It's good to see some of the JV kids come in, too, and it was just a good day. Everyone did a great job today. Everyone stepped up. Even our JV came out here the second half, and they really stepped up, too. Cody Armando had a big game today, four touchdowns, including a 98-yarder. Our line blocked incredible. My lead blocker, he sealed off the left half of the defense. I, you can't ask for anything more. It gave me the hole. Just had to go take it. Sparta had a 21-0 lead, and they really salted this one away. Christian Glue picked off a pass at the 26-yard line, took it in for six, and Sparta was well on its way. It was a great feeling. Um, Cap really coached us really well in our uh, pass drops this, is this week. So I just got my curl drop like I've been doing in practice all week. And uh, the kid basically just threw it pretty much right into my chest. The, uh, the kid was going, he was right behind me. Uh, just hit me pretty much straight in the chest. There was no one in front of me. The whole offense was behind me, so I just freed in the end zone. Sparta's offensive line opened gaping holes all day, and they've been doing it all season. I mean, it's always hard to block, but it's always good to have someone that can actually deliver when you block for them, you know. Having Cody run 98 yards down the field is always definitely good to have someone back there able to do that. Having a quarterback that can run, it's definitely, it definitely helps a lot. After that tough loss to Pope John last week, the Sparta team had to refocus. They came out today with tremendous determination, and they want to carry that the rest of the season. We just decided we had to stop looking backwards and start looking forward to the state tournament, start trying to get to Giant Stadium. 
and you know what, forget about the game. You know, we forgot about Pope John, we used that anger, we came into this week and we delivered. It's good to refocus, uh, we really need to forget about the last game we just had. Uh, we've been looking forward, I think today was definitely a good start to that. Um, we bounced back a lot, we definitely have good morale now, especially from our loss last week, but always got to look forward and uh, we're going to do our best for next week. We lost to Pope John, good team. Uh, made us humble. We just came back to practice, worked harder. Now we're like, it's one loss. You got to look forward into the season. We got to work uh, for the playoffs now.